So today we're going to work on the band that comes across the top of the leg and into this part of the belly. So in our last video we worked this inner band that came through this part of the belly and today we're going to be working on the one that comes through here. Okay. So <clears throat> it starts basically through this area here from the inner part of this toe, this toe and this toe, all through here and then becomes one solid band through here. Very important point is right in here and then it comes up through here. This can be a little bit ticklish if it's tight and then it becomes tension through here. And effectively this is pretty much where we stop when it comes to working on this band. So we're going to start with a lot of the fine detail through here because it like any other band, if we don't do the fine detail, it's very easy to overwork these spots, cause bad pain or bruising, and it doesn't release. Okay, And you can even do the same here. You could cause bad pain or bruising here if you haven't worked here. So again, this can be somewhat of an emotional band, but not as much or as intense as this one, but this can also produce emotional releases that are held in people's bellies. All right, so we never want to work the belly, to, or we don't often want to work the belly before we've done the feet. So now we're going to go into some fine detail. Okay, so when it comes to looking at this band, we often want to look at the condition of the toes. So many people have toes that are bent like this, which will then produce tension through these tendons. So there's a little bit of tension you can see coming from this one, which is going to affect this band. And also we can see here, her big toe kind of curls this way a little bit. That is also going to affect tension coming up through here. So we're going to try and correct some of that. So often what I do is I straighten the big toe and then work through here. We can squeeze the big toe like this and then a gentle caressing motion up through here. You can see that tightness in that tendon there. That's the band flicking there. Okay, we can come back. <coughs> We can use a little bit of this. This can be a very sore area, so we don't go too hard with this. And we're coming right up into here. And we could even move the toe like that. <coughs> So working like this through here, and again you can see that tendon that's very tight through there. You can bend it and work across the front here as well. Okay, so again with the big toe, I like to come and just support the base of it and then move it side to side to break up congestion in that joint. Again, this can be quite a sore area, so we don't go too hard in there. And all the while just encouraging the person to just breathe and relax. Just relax. That's it. We can bend the toe like this and then get into this spot here, which is a very powerful spot to help release this band as well.
and we can hold that spot and move the toe like this. Again, just encouraging her to breathe and relax. And then continuing up that band. <clears throat> but because there's several parts that make up this band, I like to, before I go further up the band, I like to come into the other two toes here that affect this band. So again, we can support that toe joint and move it side to side. And then come to the next joint and support below and move that one side to side as well. Then we can work through the toe here. Reflexology, of course, the toes relate to the head. Again, just side to side. We can also click the toe like that, and the next one. But that one's not quite ready to go. There's a lot of tension held in between here. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing from the bottom of the foot and the top, but I'm encouraging her to breathe and relax. We don't want to work against her tightening up. So I encourage her to take a big breath into her belly, and then I'm just going to go in here. Hold it and move the foot like this. And then with my other hand, again, just getting the same point, slightly different angle. This area here relates to the chest, so when there is a lot of tightness in here, it sometimes is hard for a person to take a deep breath. We can also then stretch the toes like this and come in. If somebody has very dry skin, you can use a little bit of oil through here. So we're going to use a little bit of avocado oil and just start to work through here. But if you don't have oil, what you can do is just apply pressure, roll over it. Again, you want to work at just that area. If somebody has some apprehension or some fear about it or worried about the point, you want them to keep that deep breath going and work just below where they're going to tighten up against you. You can work even less than that to build up the trust. So here we're applying just a little bit of oil here just to keep that ability where we can run our thumb through here. And so working right through here, getting into some of this fine detail across the top of the foot. <coughs> 